first morning of practice. All right, here we go. Three quarter to three. Day three, morning. Three bites in five minutes. Definitely on to something right here. Oh. Well, just pulled off the water practices officially over at Amistad. All right, it is tournament day. It is Friday about 5.20 in the morning. Headed to go pick up my co-angler. Then we're going to go put in, wait around a while. Uh, boat 49 second flight. So uh, takeoff starts at 7.30. 36 degrees out. It's supposed to get really nice. About 70 degrees. Absolutely no wind. Total change in conditions over the last couple days. I literally thought of everything to make sure I was ready and I get in the truck. And of course I forget to put gas in it. So now I'm two miles from the gas station on this little dirt and I kind of gravelly road that Kurt lives on. We made it. With like eight miles to spare all right we're at the del rio inn just picked up travis co-angler for the day went and got a bag of ice and totally forgot to get the ice you ready to go i'm ready man all right let's roll that's good all right we are uh we're about 20 minutes from takeoff. We're just tied up here waiting. I'm starting the grass. See if we can't catch a couple and kind of go from there. A little bit of breeze, not bad. Looking forward to it. I've spent like eight hours cleaning the boat yesterday. It's probably the cleanest it'll ever be going in. And I tied up a lot of Alabama rigs, so. We'll see if it, if it pans out. Good luck, man. Thank you. Thank you. you ready? I heard it. Do you see anything? No. Nope. All right. Nope. Oh, 
it's every cast. You ain't got none? It's every cast. Should have been here an hour ago. No, I'm just kidding. It's two babies. I don't think they're really going good in the grass. I'll give it about five more minutes around this point and then we're out of here. First stop, got two keepers, about three pounds. Not great, could be worse, but uh, I'm gonna go check a drop shot spot real quick. I caught one dropping, so that's what's next. We're gonna hit about four ledges in about 30 minutes, okay? Okay. Four of these deep ones. Yeah. Like a hundred foot. Oh, right here? Yeah. Of course, I'm laying him. Never wanted a pound and a half bass so bad in my life. <laughs> Keepers for about three pounds. Now it's time to see if the drop shot stuff paid off because uh, kind of banking on it. Lost that one. I hope it doesn't come back to bite me. But uh, I caught a nice small amount at this spot last time. So let's see. I still only have two. I gotta go to this drop shot fish in Mexico. It is. Uh, it's a run. I don't really have any other choice right now. It's just not happening down here for me at least. So that's where I think my best bet is to get three dropping. I'm fixing to get bit. Huh? I said I'm fixing to get bit. Are you? Yeah. There he is. Oh, he came off. Oh, how did he come off? Huh? How did he come off? Oh, that makes me sick to my stomach. If I had it, it was a solid fish. Oh. And it was don't. I watched him. I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, today just stalled. Maybe have five minutes left to stop and fish somewhere, but. Oh, like two fish for three pounds is not good. There's a fish, that's a keeper. No, it's not. Well, we are off the water for the day. We fished hard, didn't we? We fished real hard. I had a good guide and enjoyed it great guy to fish with not a great guy to catch with today i'm gonna weigh in a couple minnows i'm gonna go 215 i'm like not a happy camper right now giants mm. All right, got one real way. Let me get my scales ready for you. There you go. Put it in there. There was some big ones. This yeah. guy had a nine or eight pounder. Yeah, I Not noticed one, that. Actually. Yeah, they were. They're very nice fish. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a call. Just dropped off Travis, the 70 year old co angler who, uh, when I went through the fire drill in the last three hours, which I tend to do when I'm not catching them really need to work on that um man he was right there step for step so the guy has been here since december 8th practicing he beat me by an ounce today i'm kind of glad he caught one that's a long time to be 
any lake since December 8th. So I am in Ninety fifth out of one hundred and thirty after day one, two pounds twelve ounces. The cut. Well, let's just let's make this reasonable. Let's go top fifty. Six fourteen, so seven, so fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven pounds tomorrow gets me back in it, keeps me in the hunt for the championship in the southwestern division. So. I'm going to shoot for that. I think the best way to get a big bite is to throw an A-rig. So I'm going to do a lot of that tomorrow. Don't really have any tackle to rig. I'm uh, going to retie some stuff. That's about it. And uh, yeah, this is just this is a rough day. So Brad has, what, two tour wins, Costa win. Yep. You're like a million bucks, right? Yep. All right, so we were talking a little bit, and uh, I feel better about tomorrow, whether it's going to pan out or not, but Brad has eight, and I think he's already written off the W. You think Hanselman has that in the bag with 25 today? Yeah, Ray's got it. Good job, Ray. <laughs> you, you, heard, you heard it here first. Br Brad Hallman's calling the Hanselman win. I think he's got like a nine-pound lead. I know. Look at that sunset. That's crazy. The camera probably won't do it any justice. Yeah, so those up. are the mountains of Mexico, actually. That's actually Mexico. Looked at the uh, video of today. Found some interesting things, mainly when I got bit. I was twitching it. I need to slow down a little bit. I think I'm in a good area still. And it's a rally day tomorrow. 10 pounds gives me about 13 pounds. Six and a half, seven pounds a day, moves me up. 50s, 60s. Saves my season for the championship. I'm going to bed. All right, it is about 5.30 a.m. on day two of the Costa down here at Amistad. I did not do myself any favors yesterday. Two pounds, 12 ounces, 95th place. The good thing is, 10 pounds does me a lot of good today. Brings me back in, keeps me in the top 40 for the championship. The bad news is, 10 pounds is really hard to catch. The good news is, you can do that in like, one bite here. The bad news is, I haven't had one of those bites in six straight days on the water. Alright, we picked up Alex. How you doing? Eventually, after, <coughs> after the GPS took us to the wrong spot, but uh... Back in line, ready to do it all over again. I get some light in here. 10 pounds for me, what? Five, six for you? Five, six. Is your gear switch hooked up? Yep. Okay, all right, thank you. For the ramparts we watch. Got a better chop on the water than expected, so rigged up some heavier Alabama rig heads. I'm gonna go fish some rock ledges. Same thing I did that last day of practice when I caught them pretty good. See if we can't uh, get a fish when they're kind of susceptible before the sun gets up. I thought about doing this yesterday, but I thought my grass would be better, so I wanted to get myself established in that grass to where I could kind of go mill around the other boats. Gain confidence in it. In the grass? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I thought I caught my two fish out of it. Yeah. I just feel like this is one of the best ways to get a big one early. You know you're in deep water, you're bringing it up. I know that there's been fish here. I've caught them on this stuff, so. Well, it's about 9.30. It is slow. Tied on a little swim bait. Glass slick. I'm gonna stick with the grass a while longer so far. Nothing in the box. I'll another one. Big and get down. Oh. 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 Thank you. We might just stay all day here. Dude. 
appreciate it. Last 20 minutes, two good ones in the back of the boat, probably about five pounds total to about two and a half pounder. Found one really good grass patch, so just keep slinging and it seems like if you get bit, it's a good one. That is the first I've ever seen. That is a very cold white bass in 40 foot of water that hit a drop shot off the bottom. All right, we are out of here. Headed back to Oklahoma, about a 10 hour drive. Get in about 2 a.m. Yeah. But you can't, you know, you can't do anything about it now. I just try to take two or three things that you learn from it. And that's all you can do, dude. Hold on, I gotta get. I gotta get checked here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, how are you? Pretty good. Are you all by yourself in there? Yep. Where are you from, sir? Uh, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. How'd you do? I got my ass kicked. Yeah? Like, what place you come in? 119 out of 130. Hey, you have bad days, man. You yeah. have good ones, too. It happens. You a citizen, sir? Yeah. All right. Better look next time. Thank you. So this was not the way I wanted to get things started. Kicking off the 2019 season with APCO Bass Boot Camp, 119th out of 130th at Lake Amistad, zeroed on the second day. Uh, I did learn a lot though, you know, this is the first time that I've ever actually recorded myself fishing. And I speed up a lot in the tournament as opposed to practice. So. Definitely some lessons that I can take away from this one. Just slow down. You know, I felt I felt like I was pretty much under control, pretty confident. You know, I fished the Opens before. I fished in two Bass Nation National Championships uh, and made the final day in one of those. So I didn't feel like nerves were really a factor. I think I just pushed myself a little too hard in this one. Uh, kind of tried to fish maybe some stuff that I wasn't a hundred percent comfortable with that I, I didn't really understand which were those grassy drains uh you know in hindsight maybe probably should have spent uh, more time fishing what my comfort level was the rock i can go back i listen to, to what i say in practice and i keep talking about how i don't understand the grass and how i'm comfortable with the rock and i'm getting bit on a drop shot and then i spend two days starting in the grass and fishing a lot of grass so uh, the FLW Centrals kick off uh, at the end of March uh, on Kentucky Lake, so that should be a good one, pre-spawn fish. Uh, and in between then, I have two or three tournaments and a lot of other stuff going on with uh, Bass Talk Live, the podcast, and the Bass Zone. All three tours are kicking off, and you know I, I make my living covering the professional bass fishing tour, so it's going to be uh, a really busy uh, first couple months of the season here and uh, you know I'll be recording it bringing it along and every other week having a, an AFCO Bass Boot Camp video uh, on AFCO's YouTube page so thanks for following me along for the first one at uh, Lake Amistad and I'll see you in a couple weeks.